Hello, in this video I will show some of the benefits that Data Power Operation Dashboard, also known as DPOD, can offer to your organization. First of all, this is the landing page and you see the system activity, device CPU, device memory and what can attract your attention is the system errors. As you can see, you have the message but also the level of severity and the device is coming from. So the first time that you uh, connect to Depod, uh, that is probably the first thing that you want to see. Let's go quickly through the dashboards that you have available and then we will do a specific exercise. So in recent activities, you will see the informations like successful transactions and errors and errors are pretty high compared to transactions. You will have the activity of the entire system, the services by uh, request. You will have the system activities and uh, the service errors are particularly relevant and we will get back there. Then uh, in the analytics page, for example, we want to show the ability to show when the restarts took place. As you see, there were several restarts with errors and some of them were unexpected. Then uh, Let's still go ahead and go to resources. For example, you can see the device usage and memory of data power. So you can have an idea of how much memory, for example, the system is using and uh, uh, therefore uh, predict that uh, uh, your system is healthy or not. In terms of security, you have several security issues that you can uh, uh, search and identify. Uh, let's take a look to security violation really quickly. And uh, here is what you get, uh, the data power, the time, uh, object name, type, and so on, uh, and including the message. We have an investigate tab. That's where all the transactions are reported by time, and you can search by time, device, domain, and so on. And you also have the elapsed time. Uh, one, one important benefit of Depod is the ability to analyze uh, the latency. And in the Explore, you can take a look uh, at the service configuration and uh, to the failed objects. These are objects that are in administrative state enable, but they are down. Finally, the reports. There are a preset reports that you can run on the spot or you can schedule but you can also define yours. Now let's go back to our system overview here and uh, recent activities and as we said we are going to take a look to the service errors. These errors are pretty much evenly distributed in time and uh, you can see all the filtering that you can do the payload you can capture but that's optional and uh, we will check the latest of these errors only. The information that you get uh, is uh, the data power, when it happened, the domain, the service. The error was HTTP 500 server error and uh, you can scroll through the, all, all the raw messages that compose a transaction till uh, you arrive to the message that says uh, uh, fail establish backside connection and uh, you will find the URL associated. And this was just a brief overview of some of the benefits Depod has in capturing and uh, quickly troubleshooting errors uh, in your data power install base.